Hello, I'm Helen Bradley and welcome to this video tutorial where we're going to look at adding multiple effects to text in Illustrator. I have my piece of text already created. I'm using the same font, Mystery Quest, and the size is about 600 pixels here. I'm going to fill it with no fill and no stroke so we can get access over here in the Appearance panel to the tools that we actually need. I'll turn Fill on and from here I'm going to select a sort of blue fill. Now I want two strokes on this, so I'm going to start with my first stroke. So I'll just click here and add a first stroke. Right now I'm not sure about the colours, so I'll just add a sort of dark stroke. And again we're going to have the same problem as we have with our strokes. If we place the stroke on top of the fill, it actually eats into the fill. So having created a stroke that I sort of half like, let's drag it behind the fill and just make sure that it looks okay once it arrives there, which it does. Now for my second stroke, I want to add a pattern stroke. And you can add a pattern to a stroke in the most recent versions of Illustrator. So let's go ahead and we need another stroke. So I'll just click here on New Stroke. So I have two strokes. They're both identical. The second one's gone in on top. Well, I'm going to bring the second one all the way underneath everything the reason for this is this pattern stroke is going to be very, very thick. So let's just go and get a pattern. I've got a pattern here that is actually shipped with Illustrator. We can't see it right now because it has the same stroke width as the blue one and so it's just not showing up at all. But if I start winding up this stroke weight, we're going to start seeing it. And I'm going to take it up quite a lot. So I'm just sitting on this. Actually, let's just do shift up arrow so we get there a little bit faster. Now, one of the problems with this, let's just turn it into a regular coloured stroke so we can see the problem. See that it's taken on these angles that are in the font. Well, we can change the look of the stroke by going into the stroke area. So just click on stroke. What we need to do is to do something about these corners right now. They're sort of pointy corners. If we choose round join, then we're going to get round corners. You can also choose this sort of bevel join and you'll just want to go and look for something that looks good with whatever it is you're working with. In this instance, I want this sort of rounded look because when I change this back to a pattern fill, it just looks a whole lot better. At this point, if I want to make changes to the stroke color, just make sure that you've got the text selected and then you can go back and just adjust the stroke color to something that perhaps works a little bit better with the pattern that you're using. So that's a nice little effect and you can build on those so you can have multiple strokes around the shape. Just make sure that you've layered them correctly in the appearance panel so they're appearing where you expect them to be. I hope that you've enjoyed this class and learned something about Illustrator you didn't already know. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and until next time, I'm Helen Bradley and thank you for stopping by my channel.